But up, but up, but up. Yo. Back again for another week. Good my morning. niggas, my brodies, my partners, my yeah. road dogs. My niggas. Happy What's whatever good, day my... it is you're listening to this. My niggas. <laughs> for real. My nigga. Right now, in the present, as you see us and hear us, it is 4th of July Eve. Mm. You know, uh, but uh, fuck America. Me, me word. <laughs> Meaning independence for who? And from what? <laughs> <laughs> Ex- expand your mind for real. The British, gotta, the British wouldn't have done us this bad at how. Sorry, my man had what? an interjection. <laughs> my, my man, I gotta give a special shout out to my cousin today, y'all. This is her birthday. Hey. Give a shout out to my cousin Cassie. Love hey, you. I, I, I ain't giving out. Yeah, Big I shout out to Cassie. I mean, unless hey. you want, you, that's the I, homie. I, I can send some sugar daddies your way. <laughs> 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 Yo, happy birthday to my cousin, though. I love you. One time, sugar daddy. Well, fuck oh. one time. Um, yeah, oh, big time. <laughs> yeah. Fuck what time? Big, big time. time. <laughs> this was about marriage, singing yeah. Sugar Daddy. Not, not all of them. When you said Sugar Daddy, <laughs> it um, it made, it reminded me of something. That shit is like so open now. Mm-hmm. Like there's videos on like Twitter and Facebook with niggas like getting their stats from their sugar mama mm-hmm. and girls getting it. Like they're just open with it. Wow. This shit is crazy. Like, yeah. Well, there's definitely <laughs> been a loss of overall shame in <laughs> asking or begging. Not begging. Uh, receiving money oh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, not earned income or, you know, I, I'm not using that. I mean, term. they earned it, but but word. just not, I think. <laughs> not typical They're earned basically income. basically Not typical earned income. Not but, like, before. if it's true, because if there was a ABC special years back that had- On sugar you know, parents? Previous, <laughs> yeah. That's what you call both well, sugar, <laughs> sugar parents, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> no, right. no yeah, they had sugar daddies and um, like this dude was putting a girl through college and he's like, yeah, I you always like have her those. companionship. And yeah, you always She have makes those. me yeah. look good. <laughs> like yeah. shit like that. That's it might real. be real. Yeah. For but real. I mean, before, <laughs> before we get in, even further, because I, I could see that taking a turn. For real, that could be sold into, into another word, word. TPSG. TPSG talks about sugar parents. <laughs> word. You've seen, <laughs> you've, seen it, you've seen it here, folks. <laughs> but, this, but this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Gary Indiana Jones, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. What? Stop the violence. <laughs> <Bro, bro, bro. laughs> oh, you, you, you had a question mark. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. <laughs> you almost got me with that. That's what serial thing. killers think to themselves. Should stop I stop the violence? Should I stop the violence? <laughs> Can I stop the violence? Like uh, seriously? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> QTNA. Word. It's your boy I seen Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Holy Pucker Roaches, aka Shabby <laughs> Ranks, <laughs> aka Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss that's a bass Army digger, Swiss Army Digger. That, yo, that's about to turn into like the sister sister new version of the theme song. But and <laughs> it's also your boy sister. Samurai Black. What up? <laughs> it is your boy Jormatic, aka Loud Pack Chopper, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Black Galifianakis. Mm. And the new the newest and best, aka Malcolm Vex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that one. So shout out my nigga Kareem. Word. <laughs> Word. Oh, and um in the background we have my man. We left the window open. He's sitting on the sill. Woo! <laughs> We got who kids. Did we leave some bird seed out? Is he okay? <laughs> Word. Will he survive the winter? <laughs> Word. We got we got he's, Cam we got Cam G like a Jamaican in the building. Not worked out. Shout that. out Cam G. Word. Production. Reminded on. me of my age. Uh, people, his shirt says like my birth year. <laughs> Bro, and I just mine. feel old. <laughs> Word. When, they, when they put that, when they put your birth year on the shirt, who is who is this nigga? But we're not gonna tell you that birth year. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! And it's <laughs> I had to make sure he's here. No way. <laughs> what is happening? This is not CGI, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Word. Hey, the Barack Obama. Not only because of my presidential, uh, like I am also diplomatic with the lit. You feel me? Uh, oh, mm, uh, mm. damn! I forgot about that cage. Yo. Hey, hey but that was that was that's smooth as that Andrew, bro. So I like the Andy, bro. Back. What a strategized <laughs> entrance. <laughs> strategized. Uh, I'm all about the strategy. <laughs> Word. Hey, man. Word. Hey, but appreciate having you here, man. For real, man. How you been? Where you been? 
Oh, I've been all over, bro. Oh, uh, on your, on your, on your, on your side I side heard side. you took a pill in, uh, in Ibiza. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Ibiza or Ibiza? It's a piece of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're We're going. Going. <laughs> but yes, my nigga David Bumaye is back. And we have Bumaye. to give him the welcome chat. David Bumaye. David Bumaye. David Bumaye. David Bumaye. David Bumaye. So you know this episode is about to be. We're conjuring up the answers. You know what I mean? For real. We're about to say crap a hundred times on this on this episode. Nigga, we need to be dancing around a fire, nigga. Just. But speaking of somebody hold this nigga over mountaintop. Hey, speaking of them crackers getting mad. Oh. Um, as we all know, this uh new country rap trap folk music artist <laughs> like he he just has a, a great blend of what? you know Those country and hip hop let's put yeah, it like that yeah, Lil yeah. Nas X oh you yeah you may know him from his incredible smash hits it just went diamond by the way yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. old town road hey, pretty man. quickly too pretty yeah. fucking quickly you know what I mean? it's, it basically started from a meme uh huh and like people putting on um TikTok TikToks and thrillers mm. and shit. Mm. And then it just took off. Mm. Took off so much. Billy Ray Cyrus jumped on the remix. And he ripped it. I can't lie. No, yeah. For a country singer. He did slide. Yeah. He slid for real. Mm. I, I was surprised. I was surprised. But um and you know, he he made a video for it. He's been on this TV show that Word. talked like he's just mm-hmm. been Word. killing it. Smashing and he, that song. And everywhere. He, for no other reason, just being himself, piss off them country boys. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And then, and then it's like, you ask yourself the question: What could this nigga do to piss off them country boys even more? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> take a wild Seriously, guess. Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. So, as you know, um, June Pride. was Pride June. Month. Pride Word. Month. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah exactly. June was Pride Month. It was and, like, guess what? And, niggas? and you know, in the eleventh hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he snuck in there like I, I don't even know but uh, the 11th like hour like Dave Lillard like Dave game Lillard. 7 oh my goodness <laughs> step back and threw it it was splash you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> but on the last day of Prime Month he decided I'm gonna drop this little tidbit that I guess he thought everybody saw but honestly I didn't, I didn't see I, didn't. I, I, I yeah. never would have guessed that that, but, uh, but fair enough, we weren't looking for it. Neither, yeah. So right. that does change you're your right. perspective. You know what I'm saying? But, you're looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Is right. but I Honestly, mean the, the, the but, little the little hint. It wasn't. It wasn't blatant. It wasn't like right. blam. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So to to, the, the, to to say what we're talking about, he he came out the closet. I feel like yes. we're just dancing. Yeah, yeah, around. yeah we dancing. Well, well, like, oh, I thought you said it. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah, not explicitly. We did. Yeah, yeah, Lil Nas X came out the closet. Yeah, they came out. Well, air quotes came out the closet. Where it did it over Twitter. Why air quotes? I'll, I'll, I'll explain my point in a moment. Word. Okay, cool, cool. He kind of did it um, over Twitter um, before, you know, releasing a song, Closure, which is an amazing song, by the way. Mm-hmm. Was, no, I haven't listened to it. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty great. It. It's, it's pretty good. So it's like, it doesn't explicitly, you mm-hmm. know, say... You know, in the middle of the song, I'm gay, guys. But like, <laughs> you know, it's all like, yeah, 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 like no, a little Word. It definitely talks about like being free and expressing yourself oh, how you want to express yourself and uh-huh. all this, all that stuff, you know, with that. So, and not conforming. Word. Yeah. You know? uh, which is, I, which I just, is what I his career is basically is not conforming. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Which um, is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and essentially, yeah, there, you know, we're, we might say the words he, coming out but he said things that are he really made suggestive com, um tweets essentially mm-hmm. like he one of his tweets i'm not gonna don't quote me exactly but mm-hmm. the word used was dead ass he said dead ass thought it was obvious something like that and mm-hmm. he put like uh the pride flag or what no it was, that the, was it was a rainbow that was no that was when he kind of like zoomed in on the fact that um that he kind of like put it subliminally because it was mm-hmm. like it was a um it was cover art to um his um, mixtape for his mixtape okay yeah. so where he's like looking mm-hmm. at the lights and then if you zoom in you see like the rainbow mm-hmm. um yeah. thing yeah it's like reflecting yeah. off a building or something yeah yeah, yeah. right 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 but right that's yeah. the thing though like if you when you look at an album art if you're looking at it on your phone you don't ever really get to you zoom in not inside. everyone you can I never saw it so but I guess for someone like that yeah. you know you put it there for the people who are really intent on True. finding out more about you through your art. Um, but to just quote some of the lyrics from the song where I've personally felt 
um, sounded like he could be speaking from a place of, and you know, when we say coming out the closet, he's just identifying as a member of the, or what we're saying, these tweets are saying is that he's identifying uh, uh, to be a member of the LGBTQ community. Mm-hmm. But okay. we don't know, you know, how he identifies, what part of the spectrum. And so like, really, he, so he, he says, didn't, he, he never didn't say he never said, no, there's no specific, could be gay, I'm bi- gay, I'm, well, I'm queer. Well, I've, 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 I've actually, I've seen him, um, um, to, like, to, like to use the word gay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like, but. Okay. And but he's then, hilarious too. He, he is hilarious. He said, the next one you niggas say something about the song, y'all gonna get kissed. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, next next, is, next, 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 happy next happy. nigga to say something offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody <laughs> running up on him. I love how this man said, Brandon. Word, that's, a, that's a gangster way to handle shit, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, the first verse of the song says, and I'm, I'm not gonna sing it for y'all. Cause <laughs> brand new places I'll choose and I'll go. I know embracing these news I behold unfold. So embracing this news I behold. So I was looking at that like, oh, mm-hmm. embracing this news I behold unfolding. I know, I know, I know. I don't feel like it's time, but I look back at this moment. I'll see that I'm fine. I know, I know, I know. I don't feel like it's time. I set boundaries for myself. It's time to cross the line. Or, oh, hey, I yeah. mean. Or, but Once then, again, is it explicit because no. now we know? No, no right. because well, that that right. can, that can be that can be you can interpreted in many ways. Right. That, that, well, that, yeah, can, be, that can be interpreted. That can be um, applied to many different you know scenario. Mm-hmm. Any scenario where you might feel oppressed or feel afraid to express yourself. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, but it's it looks like he's pointing it towards that. So cool. Word. I mean, I, now mm-hmm. now the, um, we we know. So it's mm-hmm. like the discussion is like, yo, could he have done this? Mm-hmm. Like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, five years ago, mm-hmm. and like people's reaction to it now, you know, because mm-hmm. I, I, I've seen it's more supportive than not supportive. Word, nowadays. word. Like mm-hmm. used to see like if if there was a rumor that like a nigga was gay, like it, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, you were getting yeah. mocked. Word. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. On wax, you know what I'm <laughs> for real, <laughs> everywhere. Like so, and so, so I guess like. This this shows kind of like some cultural maturity. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I guess on our end, but then them country boys are pissed and it's hilarious. Yeah. Yes, that's the funniest yes. part about yeah. it all. Yeah. Like, not only did we infiltrate you with a black guy, guess what? <laughs> He's gay. Yeah. So it's just, uh, it's, 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 uh, uh, like, uh, I know there's like who's, he said infiltrate. Well, who's, to- <laughs> who's topping the country charts? A gay black man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's hilarious. Diamond. That's Word. crazy. Bro. His Boondocks couldn't ride. Oh. <laughs> Bro, oh, yo, I'm, I'm giggling like hell, bro. And That's you know, I'm gonna turn on the conspiracy theorist switch in my head. You know, right. Just quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, I just find it funny that you know he came out right before the Boondocks is about to come out. Mm-hmm. And Boondocks <laughs> is the one who predicted the first yeah. day rapper. Well, mm-hmm. well, click off. But honestly, <laughs> as far as like the dressing and all that stuff. Oh, I well, I, no, I, no, no. Of course, you know remember, Boondocks is a cartoon. It's satirical. Mm-hmm. So, of course, it's going to go extreme. Like, if he's going to like, make a cartoon about a gay rapper, he's going to be extreme about it. Mm-hmm. If he's going to make a cartoon True. about jail rape, he's going to be, be extreme, extreme about, about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Boondock, Boondocks episode was more talking about Young Thug than like... That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's because it's more the, of a, You know, with the purses, the tight tank right. tops with mm-hmm. the... um. Skirts and stuff like that, or dresses. Cause you know, young Young Thug isn't like known. Young Thug and Jaden Smith. Word isn't. <laughs> yeah. Young Thug isn't known as like gay, but like if you found out, like you wouldn't be surprised. There's yeah, stories like, oh. that that Young Thug, you know, he's all effeminate or whatever, but he's like literally crazy. Like he's a yeah. crazy ass hood nigga. Like yeah. there's stories about him doing shit I don't with doubt guns it. and all. Well, I, like, I, don't, he's, he's just, I don't doubt it, but yeah, he like, too. You know oh, I mean? you do not fuck, <laughs> yeah. you do not fuck with a dude who calls his gun a dick. Okay. Oh my God. He has he has a whole Atlanta saying niggas love yeah. to show off their dicks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple hitters with them dicks on me. Like, <laughs> <what>? Pause. <laughs> I beg what your pardon. And then remember, yeah. Atlanta is a gay capital USA, so it doesn't make it any better. Word. Yeah. <laughs> Word. It's either a really crazy double entendre, <laughs> or they or or watch. Ain't it San Francisco? No, no, it used to be San Francisco. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm not a statistician. But dang. last time I heard. Dang. It Atlanta, was Atlanta gay in San Francisco, though, bro. That's gay, gay. That's, that's, that's the that's one I knew gay. growing that's up gay. as the gay place. Word. As the gay um city. Well, Word. Well, yeah. Gay. <laughs> that means Atlanta's really gay. Well, because, <laughs> honestly, the, I mean, the black community. 
<laughs> it still took a little bit of a while for the black community to start accepting that a little more openly over, you know, the largely mm. other communities. Or true, mm. true. Out in San Francisco. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. What? Or demographic. History lesson from uh, I Seen Black. Word. Thank you. One thing, black. one thing I thought interesting is we, and I think you touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, I see. Was uh the way he dresses, mm-hmm. like you would have thought five ten years ago, people would have came for his head top. You know oh, what I mean? for sure. Just because of this man's wearing cowboy right. suits with flamboyant oh. colors, tassels, over, yeah. no shirt yeah. underneath. Yeah, yeah. Like, who is Word. it? Yeah. No one said nothing. Word. And now people are starting. Oh, I should have known. I should no. Nah. Yeah. yeah. We we kind of I feel like we kind of used to like flamboyant niggas. Cause yeah. I look at Prince. Yeah, especially yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Not only really that, being from South Florida, Word. like they they yeah. run rampant on South Beach. Word. Like you see that shit all the time. Wait, flam. Wait, what are you? What I are mean, you talking about? everyone went. You saw people that dress that that way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as a musical artist, like they would have got torn to shreds. All, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. Of, all of us went to school or have a friend or have someone in our family growing up who was. Um, you know, openly effeminate. Yes. A lot, a lot, all of us have experienced yes. that, I'm sure. Am I wrong? No, yeah. no, of course. Yeah, yeah, have yeah. a friend. Actually know. had a, a, a gay guy we went to high school with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like, we've all, you know, been around it. It's just that like, but it was always still one of those like, you know, don't ask, don't tell. Like it was like, no, no one of us, you know, you never really talk to your friend that much and to say like, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> but every, like everybody, but it's, 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 like, you know, we, we know. Like but people, people always said you but, know, things like that. Right, right. It's good to see the. I, I, I personally feel it's good to see the black community being yeah. more humane. Yeah. yeah. And, um. Because it, people like to separate themselves for our differences, you know, over mm-hmm. anything, rather than like you don't you don't have to like or agree with the way someone is to still respect them and love them as a person, mm-hmm. absolutely, or at least love them as a person and you know treat them the way you'd want to be treated the same. Like, no, absolutely, and you know. You know I, I know I call Twitter hell and the worst place on earth and it shouldn't exist, but a big part of that uh, positive support is from Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it's been it's it's been from when like it was just a meme. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they just supported him, you know, as a black artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like it, yeah, it, it rooted from Twitter. Like I'm surprised. I thought like you said, I thought I thought Twitter was gonna turn to shreds. Not as Mm. Musical peers. I thought mm. Twitter was like, oh, this thing about no, nah, but they embrace him like big time. Right, yeah. right. He he I wouldn't I wouldn't I'm not trying to diminish his skill, but he owes a lot of his success to Twitter. He'll mm. probably say that himself. Word, word. Tons of it, yeah. He said one of the biggest uh, parts of his biggest highlights of his career was when he was uh, trending on TikTok. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like that blew his mind. Yeah. So, I mean, right. I'm happy for him to see where he came yeah. from and uh, he, he put in the work in. You know. Yeah, shout out hey, to Panini. Those, man. Word. Oh, what hey, yeah, Panini. Hey, Panini nah. go hard. It's that song sandwich, is bro. hard. It's it's a a I know Panini is a delicious sandwich that's very pressed delicious. Perfectly, sandwich. but still, it's not. I, what does it mean, I mean in our lightly culture? Lightly toasted. <laughs> my, cheese just melted. <laughs> Lettuce kind of warm, my, right? My, <laughs> my, my slice that shit, Diane. <laughs> my, <laughs> oh, yo, let's my, 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 my favorite aspect of this whole thing it kind of puts a mirror to a certain aspect of a certain sub um, culture. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 You're talking about panini. That would have been wrong. My God. Can we focus? It's a perfect sub sandwich. You, yeah, of course. You, 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 you nigga. Yeah. <laughs> But like, and this, and this, <laughs> and this goes into our next topic. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like putting a mirror to certain subcultures because uh-huh. it's like, all right, now we're gonna see how the country fans mm-hmm. um, respond to this. And like, it's a thing now. Like, when you're in a certain position, sometimes you don't see certain things. A bunch of country art- artists and people who brush shoulders with Lil Nas X are gonna see. Their how their fans react to him, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they're gonna see firsthand, like, dang, my fans are reacting like this. Yeah, it's either gonna be like, why are so you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. dang, there's so much poison within um, this this culture, or they're gonna run with it, which is you know, mm-hmm. you know, they feel the same way. So now we look at the social media accounts and what our police and border patrol officers mm. are looking at you know mm. what i'm saying so that kind of there's a mirror being held up there so 
um if you if 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 y'all didn't hear so there's two different instances um the separate instances right so the first they found like um hundred like a hundreds um maybe even to the to the to to, to the thousand mark um <laughs> of, of police officers following um like really racist like pages oh, on like social yeah. media mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and then um more recently they found like a like a secret face um facebook group um with the with border patrol officers and the shit they found in that group bro it was fucking Can't disgusting dog. It, was, it was racist it was mm-hmm. sexist they were talking about they're making jokes of like um people dying um m- making sexual um jokes about the people um the people within their their supposed care mm-hmm. and um you know politicians who speak out against it mm-hmm. like you know photoshopping like you know people you know doing nasty showing shit their true selves true, true, mm-hmm. throwing their true selves though. so it's like all right we got a mirror held up to the 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 culture of police culture of border patrol mm-hmm. and so people are seeing like the type of people they are you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's that's one of the best things about the internet is that whether you like it or not no matter mm-hmm. if you're on the net for a day or for three years it's always gonna bring out your true self. Mm-hmm. It's always gonna show who Flock of Zulu really is, who right. I seen Black really is, who mm-hmm. David Boreas really is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can say, "Oh, I post moderately, I tweet moderately," but certain little things you do is always gonna, it's always gonna show who you are. On top of that, mm-hmm. you can never hide that shit. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna find out some way somehow. Word, like word. on Twitter, they say everybody's gonna be put on that summer jam screen <laughs> sooner or later. Yeah. I, know, I know you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm. and. And <clears throat> sorry, Ooh. yeah, that's one of the best things about Twitter, Facebook, and all that. Even though they're, they're watching us and listening to us and giving mm. us ads based on conversations we have, mm. there's a good side to it. <laughs> word, word. It's it's a it, what it is is a sample of people, mm-hmm. and once and once you have that, you're gonna see the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I mean, locks, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. But then what what's funny is that when when this this news came out, black people were like. <gasps> Shocked face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like well, mm-hmm. really? These really? same racist crackers we've been telling you about turned out to be racist. They're like, what? They're racist? No Who would have known? You know what I'm saying? Now that like, this news reports <laughs> do you, out, do you think it's shocking that they're racist, or it's just more shocking of how extreme the content is? That bro. these people are, neither that they find shocking, these people are bro. into. Neither bro. I think shocking. it depends on who you are, but neither should be shocking. Word, I mean, to me, to me, because, neither should be because if, if I'm speaking hyper. from my perspective, like even when I, if I get pulled over by a bald headed white cop, I still try to think the best of them. Mm. That's me personally, though. I try to think I like you know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get away from this safe, unscathed. Might even mm. just get a warning. <laughs> and there's been times where that's been the case. Word. I'm and not so it's like, and it doesn't mean that that person's not racist either. Mm. It's just like, you know, you, you don't always see the worst of these, the worst racist, you know, thoughts of these people or the worst mm. uh, sexist thoughts Word. or the, most vi- the worst violent Word. and uh, inconsiderate thoughts. Because they can from play that role. Law mm-hmm. officials, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. I, I, they can play the role of the nice guy. I guess I'm guy trying to play and then, on, like, and then you know, drive two blocks later and shoot a nigga. You know what I'm saying? All right, for and, sure. And another thing True. about it is that it doesn't have to be white guys. There's oh. white guys in there that want to be accepted by white people that think they're white. A lot of them are worse. Want to be white? You know what I'm saying? They're worse, and yeah. that's why I just see it from a job perspective. The cop mm-hmm. pers- it doesn't it's matter. Where it's the cold, Cops are bad. I've been the treated co- bad by that's, woman, that's point black, white, make. Chinese. You know what I'm saying? Where, I've been, it's by cops. What it is, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, law, for- law enforcement culture in general. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Exactly. Like, it's cops abrasive. in some areas is, is abrasive to say the least. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So Some, they, they believe they're literally the thin blue line between mm-hmm. order and disorder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. it, and it's especially shown in the case of these border patrol workers. Where It was something crazy, like 9,500 members in that group. Some of them like supervisors, some of them like people who actually hold standing, mm-hmm. watching over these people, making these, good, making these uh, like participating in this. And, and then you, I mean, and especially with something with this bo- this whole border patrol issue, mm-hmm. where this isn't the first time where human rights violations have been brought up. Mm-hmm. And, and now it's, look, it's looking more and more like it's directed towards a certain, I mean, yeah. demographic of certain people. So mm-hmm. the ones actually, they're running mm-hmm. it. But I mean, 
bro, but there's smoke, there's fire. Like mm -hmm. you go, it's gonna the trail's gonna lead back to where that mm -hmm. you know where mm -hmm. it comes from, the source of it. You know, mm -hmm. maybe not all of it. You know, it's it's probably a mix of different things, but definitely these particular individuals with these racist and bigoted and misogynistic and violent views. Mm -hmm. there's, been, there's been an upsurge of um of Russian women coming to the states to have babies. Um, I've read about that word, and, and they claim uh, it's for like education and word. I mean, but a lot of people do this. Yeah, you know it's, not a a lot, it's not a it's not a secret, but it's like it's it's bad when certain people do it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying because there's illegal immigration from all over Europe, mm. stuff like that, mm. like this case with Russia. And you know what I'm saying? When those babies are born, you know what I'm saying? They'll have full, you know, American rights and, and citizenship. And, and, citizenship and, that, yeah. and I'm, you know, I'm not saying nay, but mm. extend that same courtesy to, you know, to, to, everyone, ev to yeah. everybody. Mm. Or if you're going to deny it for some people, don't let other people slide with that shit. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Because you make it seem like it's a clubhouse and you only let your friends yeah. in and or, shit. Your yeah. conspiracy bell doesn't go off with that. Oh, I'm I'm overwhelmed right now. Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for y'all to finish. So I can turn it back on. But um, I mean, no, no, it's see, sometimes <laughs> shit is so blatant. You even have to put on the tin foil hat, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there. Word. Like how how am I making? How is this conspiracy? These are fake. Look at the. I'm gonna turn around. Look at this. I feel, Tell me what you clear think. Evidence. I feel like <laughs> even the term conspiracy is thrown around to to kind of dismiss. Oh, things. absolutely, it is. You know what I'm saying? It every, should just be theory. Where every time <laughs> every time you talk certain things, it's like, oh, it's a conspiracy. Before even mm -hmm. if it just sounds a certain mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. like there's a there's a huge like nationalistic issue going on with America, and like oh, you you could see like you know you you know what I mean like. And a lot of times, like you'll see people, I'm like, you don't even know. Like, <laughs> if you if you was in Germany at a certain time, you'd definitely be a Nazi. For real. And what what's crazy is if you ask them how you feel about Nazis, they'll be like, Nazis are fucking terrible. Da da da. Yeah. Not realizing you have this very same mentality when you when you say uh, make America great again, and you don't know Muslims in your country. Absolutely. Same mentality as a Nazi. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? They would have you you'd have been one of, you would have been recruiting Nazis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's a good point. I did see a post on Twitter that had like an overhead shot of one of the camps, mm -hmm. and somebody like retweeted. I, I wish I could like quote her name, but it's like there's another Holocaust happening in front of us, and nobody's doing anything, bro. And it's like when it's like when you want to make change, or you see people trying to make change. It's like there's so much bureaucracy. That's mm -hmm. like getting in the way before the change can actually happen. Before yeah. the change can happen, no, I saw. Uh, I might have brought this up before. I, I um I saw some people passing out a petition to raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars. Right. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, hell yeah, I'll sign that shit. I'm reading <laughs> through it. And I'm like, it's not gonna come into effect till some crazy like 2025, 27 right. or something I'm like sure. that. I'm sure. And I'm like, twenty twenty six. Because that's when all of us is gonna die out and it's gonna start over. Ten dollars. Dollar a year for the reason $15. See, and then to me, that's so inefficient. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because by 2026, you're going to need more than 15. You're going to need more, definitely need more than 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And changes happen I, so quickly. Word. And then it's like when people are like, hey, we need more than 15. I'm like, you guys are ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? And there's always like because of the bias mm -hmm. that they've that they've created, um, they they kind of mold a certain um, part of the country to like move the way they want to move and justify mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? You could justify, um, and they, they usually try to put a positive spin. And that, that's the great mind fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. Even with like the whole, instead of saying, you know, shut the fuck up, Black Lives Matter, let's create a new thing called All Lives Matter, which, mm -hmm. in, which you know, they're trying to, sound better than stuff they're like they're trying to be like the narrative is like see they're trying to be exclusive and, and racist we're trying to you know include everybody in love you know what I'm saying? Yeah. they paint things as as positive and and then like they they get yeah, their energy is actually energy is mm -hmm. is the, the opposite the same mm -hmm. with the pro-life people you know what i'm saying they it's like you they hide behind this guys of they're fighting for morality and all this where it's like you're really not you're oversimplifying an issue and you're trying to take the high road, but then you don't really understand 
what your stance is or what your stance does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're forcing people like, hey, have this baby. But then once the baby is born, you don't give a fuck how it's fed. You know what I'm saying? You you the same one voting against like Wick um, and fucking. Um, <laughs> don't hate on Wick. Come you know what I'm saying? And 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 um, um Planned Parenthood mm -hmm. and um and um all these different avenues women mm -hmm. have for like um health and stuff like that. But yeah, to get properly treated to where, make sure that they're healthy. To, it's ridiculous. You don't get but then you're resources, like, but like, you know basic resources. Where it's save the fetus, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you get angry people. when you debate the topic when it gets you know down to the meat of it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and being dismissive. Mm -hmm. This is very indicative of how America is. They only care about issues, you know, that directly affect the um, <clears throat> you know, the higher ups and everything. They don't really whoever is actually has an influence. Yeah, in mm -hmm. the country, <clears throat> they are the ones that when it affects their comfort and way of living, exactly. then it becomes a big issue. I don't, I don't like seeing same sex couples in my neighborhood. Ban them. Right. Oh, your neighborhood is the world. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> You know, there's plenty of places you could go where other people feel the same way you do. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Just Hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, that's, that's a sound bite of the... <laughs> yeah, for real. Bite yeah. It might be my best one. <laughs> Eight episodes. Yeah. Shit. It's up, <laughs> it's up there. But yeah, man, you know, like I said, that's how America is. They were about the topics that... Nobody really gives a shit about it except them. Instead of worldwide topics such mm -hmm. as something as simple and as minuscule mm -hmm. as a flag mm -hmm. on a shoe, not the actual flag. Mm -hmm. Don't come in my inbox. Call me America hater. Mm -hmm. But um, if you <clears throat> if you didn't know, uh, a special edition limited release Nike shoe, dun, dun, Nike dun, Air Max Air Max One. one. Right. It Classical. had. It had the uh, Betsy Ross flag stitched on the back. Yes. And if you don't know the Betsy Ross flag, it's American flag. But the stars in a circle. Yeah. Mm. First one. Is, is yeah, the it's first, the first one. Second. I think it's the first. The first was like the thirteen colony flag, though. Isn't that it? I thought that was eighteen stars. Anyways, one of the first Anyways, ones. It's one of the earlier ones. Oh. It's one of the earlier ones, and uh, you know they put, <laughs> up, they put on the back of the um, Nike MX one, and then you know Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. Apparently he has clout and pull in Nike. He's yeah. like, nah, let's uh, nah, nah, let's, let's no. Let's not do <laughs> it. Nike like, was bro. like, all right, bet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't want to offend anyone. Word. We'd rather not release it than release it and get trashed. Basically, yeah. to so, put it in Nike's words, they <laughs> they they did say, um, you know, based on concerns that it could unintentionally offend and detract from the nation's patriotic holiday. And then they also stated that we regularly make business decisions to withdraw initiatives, products, and services. So mm -hmm. they're kind of not, they're trying to make it not a big deal. They're, they're trying to keep it so reasonable. Let's back up. Why, why did Colin intervene in the first place? So apparently the flag um, can be used to represent a time before um, slavery was abolished. Yeah. Because that's the time period that it was used. Okay. So um, there, there's been instances, not widespread instances, mind you. You know, it's literally like a couple where white supremacists use Sorry. the flag mm -hmm. and uh, other little groups use the flag to, like, represent um, a div divisive, um, you know, ideology. Mm -hmm. but, ah, or a symbol. Yeah, or a symbol. Gotcha. But it's not, it's, not wi it's not like the Confederate flag, which is widely used. Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah, that's different. That's or, yeah, which is, or, or which yeah. is actually inherently... Or, like like or, inherently connected to, to slavery whereas or, or, I, I mean at least I don't see Betsy Ross's flag mm -hmm. being directly connected it, it's just mm -hmm. a time period in which it was made word word mm -hmm. and exactly. just because some people use it well, that way they're like let's be better be safe than, than sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know okay. okay because you know those tweets are gonna roll in oh you support Nazis you support white nationalists yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah so remember at the end of the day they're a company they're just gonna look out for their you know their best interest. Yeah, the best interest. The bottom Toys line, which are sales. Where, exactly, bottom line. But yeah. apparently <laughs> Mitch McConnell feels a way that, you know. Eh. First of all, it, never trust anyone named Mitch Mick anything. Or, yeah, man. His comments were ridiculous. For real. He just, y'all want to hear? No, go ahead. Go for it, man. He's, <laughs> quote that cracker. Quote that cracker. <laughs> quote that cracker. <laughs> C-U-O-T-E. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if we were in a if we're in a political environment where the American flag has become controversial to Americans, I think we've got a problem. And so that's if you just unpack that. Mm. Clearly, the issue is that you know we we all know how 
near and dear patriots hold mm -hmm. the symbol of the flag mm -hmm. to Na them and nationalism. Yeah. From our perspective, their inability to have a discussion on anything that challenges that symbol, mm -hmm. uh, they just write you off as disrespectful to the flag and go to hell or they get violent. Mm -hmm. Is what we yeah, see a lot. Much. And um, so his rhetoric sounds like he comes from that perspective. If I unpack that as a corporate speaking white man. Word. <laughs> but then I mean, because, because of the culture, the American flag kind of has become offensive. You know what I'm saying? Because when I, when I ride around, especially, you know, it's in the South, whenever I see people are kind of overly patriotic, I get kind of wary, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got American <laughs> flags everywhere? Oh, I wonder what you, how you feel about this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have more than one American flag tattoo. Yeah. yeah. That's... Oh, no, no. Yeah. Word. <laughs> Word. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's that. It's like you kind of like mm -hmm. tarnishing your own symbol mm -hmm. or making it like... A, a certain way you know what I mean yeah but, I, oh my bad yeah and it's just hypocritical because doesn't it go with liberty and justice for liberty and justice for, for all, all. Mm. for all for not all for of you, us not for just for us. all of us word huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be a punchline for that so. nah nah nuclear word N nuclear and even because <laughs> there's so many sub like um sub areas to like how you feel as an American Cause it's like if you're a, 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 a black American, you might you might you might feel different about Fourth of July than a white American. Yeah, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. It's like, Happy Independence Day, like Independence Day for who? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know, I will, you know, people people who look at me wasn't independent of shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Not for, for a minute. For real. Not for a minute. You know what I'm saying. And then See, even after we became independent, my we, brother. Mm -hmm. They still had us in mental change. Where it got niggas like um, Russell Wilson call himself a descendant of a slave. Nigga, Boy, a slave. Okay, first of all, first of all, I'm glad Russell Wilson is embracing his blackness, mm -hmm. marrying Sierra, wearing the cornrows, <laughs> talk, talking in the uh, in the the cool in black the, dude voice, word. posting yeah. after sex videos. W w what? W yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. bro yeah. 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 If wow. they didn't have sex before that video, they fought. That's the only other thing they do. <laughs> she comes on those videos. Bro. Got paid. Oh, yeah. Bro. Oh, no, no, no. I know. Bro. No, no. Trust bro. me. I know. But bro. 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 what Russell Wilson is, is what the kids... Is doing what the kids call the most. You know? <laughs> <laughs> definitely feeling them. Do you think he's code switching? You call that code switching? That would definitely be code switching. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I, 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 I think he's been he inside a whole new. All these years, we all, I mean, we all. He's from Richmond, Virginia. That's a pretty it. rough place. He could be the biggest nigga we, we you come could across. Yeah. And he's finally comfortable being himself. He could have got saved by like. I mean, what could they tell him now? Honestly, you see like, that check? He'll buy your family. <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> what is you talking he's, about? He's that weatherman that quit. Man, fuck this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Chappelle skit. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh, he's just like the Chappelle skit. He's just like the Chappelle. This is my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like it. I just made that good. Hell no, Russell Wilson. You mother. <laughs> Motherfucking what? weatherman. Oh, what? <laughs> this mad niggers in the background. For real, this black quarterbacks is causing ruckus. Colin really? <laughs> Kaepernick, Straight Russell Wilson, Straight uh, Ruckai out here. Uh, yeah. Michael Vick, Kelly, all Chihuahuas. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so I heard Maltese was involved too. Oh my god! Oh. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So they got this new shit coming out now. Oh mm. shit! How new? Well, it's not. It's not new, <laughs> but um, it is now. Through Amazon and I think through other companies, um, they can legally um, use face recognition technology. Yes, and, and kind of like it's intrusively spy on you and kind of like take information like your your face and stuff like that. Oh boy! And store it like you know store it in databases oh, and stuff like that. I'm gonna be rude without your permission. It without was just a matter of time. Well, well, so honestly, I, but here's the kicker though: the technology is more is um is best is more accurate mm -hmm. when it's the it's when it's used when it's used on white men because it's been designed by white, white men. men you know what i'm saying so sure. cool when it comes to everybody else errors can be made mm -hmm. uh, you know i'm kind of happy with that you know what i'm saying but but here's but here's, here's where that <laughs> low key but here's where that fucks up though. not if you're on the shit in where yeah. oh, here, here's where that fucks up because you have you have a situation where mm -hmm. um 
uh, 18-year-old um, um, boy, mm-hmm. um, 18-year-old black man, got arrested multiple times in Apple stores because mm-hmm. they misidentified him as, as someone else. Mm-hmm. And through using that technology, it was like, hey, there's a guy. You know what I'm saying? So it, there's a risk of further... Actually like, arrested, dog. We were using, using it to like further justify unjust mm. um justifications you know what i'm saying Wait. <laughs> unjust um murder convictions mm-hmm. all of that dog this shit is dangerous you know they're just trying to get us off to get us off the streets they don't they, they don't want us mm-hmm. out here though and they're mm. gonna try to do everything to get us the fuck out of here yeah. well, well, I, guess well I, um, yeah. I mean in general like anything that's made by a majority one population is gonna have its own bias like it's a product of Mm. majority white males in silicon valley who created all this ai technology Mm -hmm. right they wrote the codes blah 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 whatever that's why you oh i'm sorry i I didn't mean to cut you off please young black kids get into coding because it's the future and we're going to have to have our hands in that too yes control it yes continue (sighs) there's Predominantly white males in Silicon Valley. And um, so obviously whatever it is that they create is going to have, you know, a bias because if we had a um, AI technology made by a bunch of black men who whose lives who where in general our lives we don't have to be objective and be considered of, you know, us and others and how we affect others, you know, more than you know, mm-hmm. other uh, demographics might have to then you know there would also be a bias with that too and there'd still be a bias with ours anyway like mm-hmm. i'm not trying to say we're better or anything but like we'd still have a bias because if you have a thousand black dudes who wrote a code for ai technology you know you're only seeing um bone structure and faces through whatever they're familiar with right. um, okay yeah and I when you you're that. typing your codings right. um that's what i was trying to get to so when you when you're getting into the grit of the program and how it seeks this facial recognition, there's going to be missing pieces to that puzzle because there's other different bone structures. Uh, there's different facial types that you may not see commonly within the black community. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, that it's, it's, it just, it just goes all ways, you know? Right. Um, so the argument is that like, well, this is a problem and there needs to be something that we can do to fix this. Right. So there are some companies uh, that are looking at, uh, uh, creating actual solutions for this. Companies like IBM, uh, they release D, um, what is it? De-biasing toolkits. I don't know what that means fully. You know, I, I we'd have to see what, how that comes along. So do they have like a database of every face that's ever Yeah, basically, basically um, the oh, software can scan features. for bias mm-hmm. in AI systems. So mm-hmm. whatever okay. that means, obviously we're not coders but if mm-hmm. you can think about that critically for a little bit mm-hmm. you know you can see that because within any creation is going to be the fingerprints of the creator mm-hmm. so, yeah um if you can look within that and see the holes or the missing pieces mm-hmm. to the puzzle but, if you can understand that puzzle then you can fill in the holes but, gotcha. you know but here's the thing um not even considering the bias mm-hmm. That's kind of problematic. Yeah. Yeah. You know no, no, it's saying? very problematic. Because it's already here and now we're trying to fix it after exactly. it's already being right. implemented so, throughout. <laughs> exactly. So the, the question is, is this a violation of our human rights? Absolutely. And privacy, human rights, and you name it. Word. And the argument I guess the counter argument would be um its efficiency with catching criminals. They're or, always or, they're always gonna use that as an always, excuse to entice us, like oh but, to keep you safer. But then the thing is, the way America is policed enough, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't getting away with shit, bro. Like no, not you know what I'm saying. So it's like you already have a situation where it's very hard. <laughs> not to mention that more cops hasn't made anything safer. Even cops with cameras on wait, them wait, wait, wait. hasn't made anything safer. Yeah. Um, you guys ever seen Upgrade? Mm. It's a pretty good movie. I was shocked how good it was. Yeah, it's the same guy that wrote and directed Saw. Okay, um, okay. And it, it's, it's about a guy. You know, he lives in the future and he got beat up and he got this chip implanted in him and his body's basically a robot. Oh, okay. and, you know oh, whatever. So he's okay. like taking ass and doing whatever. But he was paralyzed from neck down. But they put him. Mm. And in it, you know, it has it's it's set in the future, like twenty twenty something. Mm. You know, the building is flying cars and like there there was this part where um. His wife got killed, and there is a drone, police drone, 
Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, it's going to save them because he's going to shoot. Mm-hmm. All they do is watch and alert the police, and they still came late. <laughs> wow. So it doesn't matter how technologically advanced we become, mm. it's still going to be. It was um, a movie. No, no. I'm, <laughs> movie, movies are very. Um, yeah. Premonitious, premonitious. Yeah, wait, <laughs> I know that's not the word, but you get what I'm saying. Wait, 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 wait. Foreshadowing. That, that's there what you you're looking for. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Word. Word. <laughs> word. word. They're, they're, but they're pretty me. accurate reflections of what's going oh, on. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. What's well, the time? What was wrong with me? <laughs> How many times have we seen The Simpsons predict exactly oh, something happening? Numerous amount of times. It was crazy. I used to watch this shit as a kid. Mm-hmm. Obviously, thought nothing of it. No. Until and then you go back like, wait, did I really watch that, or did they alter it? When like, you know what I'm saying? When I got Word. older, like this is crazy. Word. Like, oh yeah, that def- I definitely watch Donald Trump become president before. I just don't know when. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, Lord Voldemort, whatever. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. You know what I'm saying? No, no, we're not just gonna leave that top. No, I'm kidding. Word. Word. That facial recognition, it's. Word. It, it, yeah. <laughs> that's that's that's. And I, you could only think the times of where they're gathering information, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're at your computer, your face, you know what I'm saying? And like, <laughs> they're like, oh. Uh, if you didn't have duct tape over your front facing camera, now's not, the time. Now's, now's the time. time. Yeah. Put that shit on that. Yeah, yeah. it's on your phone too. Yeah. So. yeah. It's becoming what more commonplace too. Where, I'm seeing oh, that a lot. Really quick before we stop, my mm-hmm. bad. But another danger to it too, as we, we kind of like saw um, through a video, you could put someone's face Mm-hmm. And 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 edit a video, yeah. <laughs> and you can literally like create a situation where you have someone, um, you know, one face or, on every person's face in the where, shot, or, yeah. or you could like you know you could set up evidence where it looks like someone did something right yeah. that they didn't do Very absolutely. Easy. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's dangerous. And it, it fits the emotions and everything. The eyebrow movements. Y'all you see Minority knows. Report? Word. Yeah, it's man. terrifying. Man. Word. Expect and 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 don't mm-hmm. even get us started on on on, on cloning people. But anyway, yeah. no, just give us that, flying cars. Word, Jeez, that's word. all we wanted. A hover car. You give us flying. everything word. else Does. first. Hover. Bro, yeah. all, it's like uh, it's like you know what? We gonna of see all the, of of all the sci-fi people. shit that you grew up watching. We're just gonna give you all the scary shit and nothing else. <laughs> and that's it. No. No. Exactly right. right? <laughs> no Back uh, to the Future hoverboard. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's no, like they don't want us to have this for the future future generation. We're gonna you're get. The, we're the, gonna uh, set up the scary shit to keep you f- from fucking up. Then we we'll gradually give you some cool nah. shit, like their parents. Word. <laughs> if you get get the cool shit, imagine if we get hoverboards before niggas could um, identify <laughs> who fucking um, <laughs> drew a dick on the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it'll be anarchy, bro. Wait, 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 it'll be a wait, chaos. Wait, it was like before. <laughs> Before we roll this out, we gotta make sure we can, you know what I'm saying, catch niggas quick. <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna just catch niggas in the act no more. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta catch, you gotta know it's, it's them. I'll be scared. And run upon that. them on the job. Uh, Nigga, we know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Recognize your face. <laughs> oh, wait. And, and so and so. And what you it call won't leave. Leave. Word. Uh, <laughs> say, bro, exactly, dog. The future, dog. Same shit happened. To, <laughs> happened in Friday, dog. They, they saw oh a video. Premonition, I've been telling you. A nigga they, moment they, they is a, a nigga moment. They saw a video of a nigga stealing history, boxes. Dog, <laughs> they <matter>. miss. <laughs> <laughs> they misidentified they misidentify young brother. Hey, y'all heard they got Craig on camera stealing boxes? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Did they really get Double well, well, you. No. But, See, but now they, they, really they now they can CGI Craig face on the <laughs> nigga so it looks like he stole some boxes. CGI fingerprints and shit. But, but okay, anyway. Friday sequel <laughs> 2050. <laughs> when they finally made that shit, it's Craig. <laughs> but anyway. Right. Nah, man, they put my face on that shit just like that Mike Tyson video, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, we trying to rap. <laughs> I promise. This is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Blackstone the Third, aka uh, Gary and Nanda Jones, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka So A hey, Stop <laughs> AKA, AKA I'm always angry. <laughs> no, I'm always angry. <laughs> it's your boy I Seen Black, aka Black Down my aka Way Bixby, aka Shabby Ranks, aka Holy Book of Roaches, aka Holy. Always Bet on Black. AKA Afro Thunder, AKA Samurai Black, AKA Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga.
hold the last note. <laughs> <laughs> you rap better. It sound like reading. I'm not going to say it. And it's your boy, Troy Max, <laughs> a.k.a. Loud Pat Trover, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex. <laughs> 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 Oh, Ain't your boy dead, but my I don't got any AKs for you, but you know. Obama. Sirac Obama. Sirac Obama. Sirac Obama. Sirac Obama. It was, it, it was what was the other one? Oh shit! Wow, I'm Look. out of practice, bro. Damn. Look, we'll figure it out. We'll see y'all next. We'll figure it out next. Damn. 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 Damn.